Dear students, I welcome you all to your educational channel, Learn and Educate. Let us continue with our educational law series, Code of Civil Procedure 1908, under which definition section 47 questions to be determined by the court executing decree, part 2, general questions to be determined by the court executing decree, section 47. Questions to be determined by the court executing decree, subsection 1. All questions arising between the parties to the suit in which the decree was passed or their representative and relating to the execution, discharge or satisfaction of the decree shall be determined by the court executing the decree and not by a separate suit. It, section 47 says about all the questions which are arising between the parties to the suit in which the degree was passed or their representative and the and the questions with respect to execution discharge or satisfaction of the degree shall be answered by the court executing the degree or not by a separate suit a separate suit need not be filed for the execution of a particular degree the executing court shall answer all the questions pertaining to the execution of a degree Section 47, Subsection 3, where a court, where a question arises as to whether any person is or is not the representative of a party, such a question shall for the purposes in this section be determined by the court. Court will determine the, about the questions pertaining to whether any person is or is not a representative of a party. Explanation 1. For the purpose of this section, a plaintiff whose suit has been dismissed and a defendant against whom a suit has been dismissed are the parties to suit for the purpose of this section a plaintiff whose case whose suit has been dismissed and the defendant against whom a suit has been dismissed are the parties to the suit explanation 2 for the purpose of this section a purchaser of a property at a sale in execution of a decree a purchaser of the property at a sale in execution of the decree shall be determined to be a party to the suit shall be deemed to be a party to the suit in which the decree is passed and all the questions relating to the delivery of position of such property all the questions relating to the delivery of the position of such property to the purchaser or as a representative shall be deemed to be the question relating to the execution discharge or satisfaction of the decree within the meaning of the sections all the questions which are relating to the delivery of the positions for the, to the purchaser or as a representative shall be deemed to be the questions relating to the execution discharge or satisfaction of the decree within the meaning of the section limit time limit for execution it is execution bad in certain cases repealed by the limitations act 1963 transfers and legal representatives section 49 and section 50 have been explained under the heading transfers and legal representatives section 49 transferee every transferee of a decree shall hold the same subject to the equities if any which the judgment debtor might have enforced against the original decree holder every transferee of a decree shall hold the same subject to the equities if any which the judgment debtor might have enforced against the original decree holder the judgment debtor which have enforced against the original decree holder then every transferee of the degree shall hold the same subject the transfer of the of the degree shall hold all the same power same subject uh, same equities and subject which are the judgment debtor might have enforced against the original degree holder section 50 under the heading transferees and legal representatives section 50 legal representatives subsection 1 where a judgment debtor dies before the decree has been fully satisfied then the holder of the decree may apply to the court which passed it to the ex to execute the same against the degree then the holder of this degree shall may 
apply to the court which may pass it to execute the same against the legal representative of the deceased section subsection 2 of section 15 where the decree is executed against such a legal representative and he shall be liable only to the extent of the property of the deceased which has come to his hands and not been duly disposed of and for the purpose of ascertaining such liability the court executing the decree may on its own motion or on the application of the decree holder compel such legal representative to produce such accounts as it may think fit sir under subsection 2 the decree which is executed against a legal representative he shall be liable only to the extent of the property of the deceased he shall be liable only up to the extent of the property of the deceased which has come to his hands and not duly disposed of and for the purpose of ascertaining such liability the court executing the executing court shall on its own motion or an application of the decree holder compel such a legal representative to produce such accounts as it thinks fit fit as it thinks fit in this the legal representative will not be is not liable to pay anything extra from his own property he can pay only up to the extent of the property which is a uh, which was under the legal title of the deceased judgment of the deceased judgment debtor and not exceeding anything above the property which has come to his hands for the disposal the legal representative is liable to pay and the court may order to the legal representative of the judgment debtor to submit the accounts as it thinks fit section 47 deals with questions to be determined by the court executing the decree section 48 is repealed section 49 transferee section 50 legal representatives